Welcome back viewers to another episode of the Trinity War. Your here is me, Real Barbarian, and we don't actually have a mission waiting for us because Pounce decided to, well, quit rather abruptly at the end of his mission because, well, bonus puzzles and them in. So let's scan ahead. Uh, before we do that though, 29, we do need launch a satellite over Mexico. Excellent. We are actually making money now. Yep, and scan ahead. Hopefully Exalt won't actually hit us and we can scan for Exalt on the first. Uh, okay. Okay, great, great. Uh, let's go for Ghost Weapons now. And... Let's actually do some Foundry Projects. I mentioned about going for Base Assaults this month. It's actually feasible. It's feasible, but how long does this actually take? 11 days. We got time. I don't think it's much point going for this early. Once we actually get a capture of an outsider, then there's actually a point going for this. Uh, so in the meantime, why don't we see if we can go for... Can't go for that because it costs alloys. Um, where's the other ones? Countermeasures. 350. Not bad. And have we already got proof avionics? Yes, we have. So let's actually go ahead and do this. 16 days, not bad. And scan ahead, we'll get extra money uh, from the castle report and we get armor fire soon. Good. Okay. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Okay, council member. Be in touch, Commander. Okay, let's go do exalt scan. Positive identification Here we go, confirmed. France. Exalt cell location verified. Now where is our one assault? Hopefully she is back. If I can find her. Where is she actually? Um Nitmara, nope. Lemmings, nope. Cat? That's not my assault. Where's my assault? My assault wasn't injured. Last I remember. Are you down here? Nope. 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 Wait a second. What the heck's going on? Cat. Shame shit. Here we go. Clayton. Ooh, you're a sergeant now. Wow, you're a sergeant already. That's surprising. Here's a motor tracker. Here's your alloy plating. Go for gold. And a scan ahead. This is September now. September is nasty. Uh, we don't have many flight computers actually. I'm not sure why. Those engineers and scientists could come in handy. This morning, but I think we need those flight computers more. Do we? No, we don't. No, not really. Um, young corpses. 15 for 200 years. 34 hours left. I mean, to be fair, we will be getting more beyond corpses and animal conservation. We want to do it this month, but I'm pretty sure we get plenty of moon hunts this month anyway. So let's go ahead and just give it to them. It'll be fine. And yeah, you can have these. The new okay. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Now we do want to build a satellite nexus this month. But no rush, because we got until the 9th to build the Nexus, and we got until the 11th or 12th uh, to build um, the satellites. So we got time. And yeah, nothing is happening. Odd. What the heck? Why do we have new soldiers coming? No! Who bought new soldiers? Who bought new soldiers? Do we actually have new soldiers? What the heck was that? Um. Uh. What? Do we actually have new soldiers or not? No we don't, so what the heck was that? I... Okay, I have no idea what just happened. I really hope someone didn't actually buy new soldiers because rookies are completely worthless in September. Heck, specialists are pretty worthless too. And uh, where the heck's my mission? <laughs> we need those alloys or nope? Hi scout. Well, you're pretty screwed. We have still Steam Race to replace, but that's alright. Um, Dasher. Just go unbalanced. We have eyes on the bandit. Closing on target. And 
hopefully we can get a mission. I could do a training mission. Hmm. No for Yeah, I'm cringing at this. This is a pretty poor performance. Okay, but we do have a mission. A small crash UFO. That took a while. Let me set up a squad and I will get back to you. Okay, so here's the squad. I could take a couple Lance Corporals, but I figure they are actually pretty close to becoming a Corporal. And I think what I'm gonna do is let the virtual training buff them up to a Corporal, then I'll take them. Instead, I think I'd much rather get these Corporals up to Sergeant and train a few of these Sergeants uh, towards Tech Sergeant. So that's why we're taking a mostly Corporal and Sergeant squad. Uh, there isn't a single Tech Sergeant here. Um, and the star will hopefully get a few captures. Captures is a priority, but I did take extra uh, bow scanners on James Shin, and Biosface comes with his own bow scanners. Uh, so hopefully we can move low quickly. We don't have concealment, and this is now September, which means we are totally uh, capable of meeting heavy floaters, which I don't really want to see. We could be mechtoids, we could be cyberdisks, all are pretty nasty, and there's more reason why I brought off Renato Cardia here, who we haven't had actually seen for a while because I kept taking um, Sinedra, so I'm like, Renato Cardia, you are here, you are the sniper, and yeah, I think that's all I can really say, everyone is wearing carapace because we had enough time to repair the armor, so let's go. Number one priority is captures, and yes, that's going to be a running theme with me. The other commanders, I mean, partially not really their fault, but you know, I think we need to get captures and someone's got to do the job, so let's do it. I keep talking about getting outside captures, let's try our best to get outside capture. That's our main goal. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We've got a fix on the downed UFO. There doesn't appear to be much in the way of civilization nearby. We have a prime chance to secure the site before they have time to dig in. Sounds good Bradford. Operation Lone Dawn. In the middle of the night. Dawn must be very lonely. Oh and a lovely burning forest backdrop. I hate this map by the way. I've had so much bad experience on this map. I mean it's not a bad map, I just have bad experiences. It's strange. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure Ooh. the ground. Copy Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Well we are awfully close to the UFO, aren't we? Here is the edge of the map, so there's nothing to our left, there's nothing too close to our right. I'm going to move you up to here. There's a pod to our right and there's something to our left. I'm going to track a scan to the our pod, the pod to our right. It's a pod of like four, I think. On screen. Sectoids, okay. I mean, it would be great to capture sectoids, but I don't really care. That's all I can really say. It's a bit sad, but I just don't really care. Uh, where is James Shin? James Shin's over here. You we know to your direct left is probably the outsider. Let's try to confirm that by moving you here. There now. And tracking the scan into the UFO itself. It's not very far, but it should be far enough to see whether that thing over there is. And it is the lone outsider, I think. Yep, right there. Cool. So as long as this door stays closed, we can get a very nice approach up against it. Now as for sectoids, let's just approach them. This might even be the only part of the map for all we know. Okay, Commander John, let's move you here. We're gonna do a nice, beautiful ambush. I mean, if I really get a good opportunity to capture Sector, I guess I might take it, but again, priority is the Outsider. Nothing else really matters. Um, I'm not even gonna bother sending a rocket for this, I think, because, come on, it's just four Sectoids. What can possibly go wrong? Okay, I probably should still send a rocket, just in case. <laughs> I mean, I say what could possibly go wrong, but let's just remember the reason why our, our uh, tech sergeant officer is in the med base because I underestimated sectoids. So let's steady a rocket. Overwatch, 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 and just go ahead and Overwatch. And listen out. I honestly think that this is the only part. 
this pod and then the outsider. I don't know hear anything else. If there is more pods out there, it's either Seekers or just nothing at all. So let's go ahead and find a rocket because it would be awesome to do so. Yes, let's do it. Just for the sheer awesomeness of firing a rocket on a bunch of unsuspecting sectoids. Nice. I don't think we actually killed any, which is actually perfectly fine. They did run away though, which is a little bit annoying. Makes them difficult to chase down, but they are basically standing in the open, so we can try to chase them down. Try to. Uh, might be a little difficult actually. They're very far away. Welp, that's alright. Who better to chase them down than chase? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, let's move you over here. Go. Cool. Why don't you go ahead and shoot this little sex toy? Good. And like I said, I could try capture it, but I already care. I think my answer is not really. I uh, go ahead and kill off this little sectoid. Cool. <laughs> so cute. Okay, next. Bias face. And this is part where I trigger a sub on my flank. And I'll be going. <gasps> uh, James. Uh, you can move up. Naturally, John. Um, okay, Fernando, go ahead and kill the sectoid, and we will overwatch against that sectoid. The only reason we can see it is because of bow scanners, which basically means he's pretty much forced to go up on uh, move up. And John has opportunist. Um, you can overwatch with your heater. And I haven't heard any indications of him now, but. Whatever. Ooh, there's pause to our left. What do you know? It's a seeker. How funny. I said the only possible pod that could be out there is a seeker. Is it a whole seeker pod? Seeker, yep, all seekers. Yep, and there goes my overwatchers. Hopefully they don't actually take Commander John's overwatch away. Oh, that is a very big seeker I see there. I am slightly less amused about that. And there goes John's overwatch. Oh boy. That could be bad. Well, Sectoy, we're gonna do. Suppress me because I'm being flanked. No, you can do nothing. And a big seeker is a dumbest seeker. Guess size is not everything, is it? It is a seekers. Hmm? For Macronova, you can promote already. Beautiful. And I think that's revealed all the remaining seekers as well. Let's go ahead and kill them all. Bias face. Um, we have two more tracker charges. Let's use it. Okay, there's nothing out there. I'm not surprised. Wait, the sector didn't move. Uh, okay. Let's move you here. Yep, uh, no more pause, I'm pretty sure. Let's sure one want to fly in one because they're hard to hit and you have a shotgun. So shoot this one. And yep, well, you hollowed them. No, be positive. John, who can you see? Sectoid and Big Boy. Okay, shoot Big Boy. Okay. Shoot Big Boy again. Good. A bit of a waste because he did have dead eye, but oh well. James Shin, you can shoot whoever you feel like, so let's move you over here. And shoot at a different one who's also flying but not hollowed. If you hit, it's a kill. Never mind. Seekers have insane DR. How could I forget? Okay, Darcy. Let's move you over here. Shoot at another one who is not hollowed, like you. And miss, even though you have the heat. A shame. <laughs> we might not even be able to kill them more. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, can we actually kill the sectoid off? I would like to kill the sectoid off because he actually is a bit of a threat. Um, yes, I can flank him from here. Chase, don't screw us up. You're the officer. Good. Hey, and promotion too. Even better. Anna and Fernando. Okay, well, Anna. I could chuck a grenade on them. And I'll pretty much kill off that one health one. And yes, they give corpses, but I'm much rather not get hit by seekers. That'll be embarrassing. So go ahead, Anna. 
Oh, not bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one health one just, just took on the chin. Okay, fine. Be like that. Uh, you can move here. So you won't get easily flanked. And just shoot at one of them, I guess. Just pick one. Good. So we have two one health seekers. They might flank by his face. I really hope they don't. Hmm, okay. Fine. Screw you two, Seeker. I mean, to be fair, I possibly could have taken them a bit more seriously. What are you gonna do? Yeah, screw you two. There's Mal this way. And I'm not hearing anything else on this map. Let's swap the floor of them. Bias face, we need to get as many kills as possible with you. You're not gonna trigger another pot, are you? Nope, didn't think so. Kill. Strange sin. I need to get you promoted too because you are a scout. You are still pretty far away ish from getting promotion. But go ahead, some 6%. Good. I think that was the seeker you tried the first turn as well. Well, you know, last turn. Right, everyone else, let's move towards the outsider. So, Anna. I could go for the mount, but I think right now let's just dash towards the outsider. I want to try capture it. I'm pretty sure there's no more parts left. Pretty sure. John, let's get you over here. Okay. Uh, you can reload. Okay, yep, that's it. That is it. Anna? You are very important here. Reload, John. Move you here. You can reload. Uh, James Shin. Fernando. Move you here or somewhere. It really does not matter too much. Darcy. Dash you up to here. Chase. Your main job really is to just um, command. So just dash up here. Bias face. Uh, let's move you here. Hey, Macronova. Stash you here. Okay, steady. Yes, I know about a mount. Okay, I can't take my time here, but I'm sure this is good enough. Let's open the door and try to capture him. He's just a baby outsider. He's coming right for us, which is excellent. Makes things very simple. He looks like a basic outsider to me. Unless I'm severely mistaken. I can make him completely harmless using disabling shot, although the only way I can flank him is f over here, which could be a little tricky. Either way, we have a decent opportunity to try capture him right now. So let's do it. Darcy, you cannot one-shot him, so let's move you over here. And just double-check his perks to make sure he doesn't actually have CCS. He does have opportunities, which is kind of annoying, but that's alright. Go ahead, take a shot. Damage. Okay, we don't want to kill him. That's very important. So we're going to try pistol him down. Uh, so, come on, John. We can possibly even shoot him with the SMG if we have another one. Uh, we do need to get Anna Star over there, though. Anna, let's move you here. Macronova has an SMG, so let's move you here. SMG should not be able to one shot him. I'd be very amazed. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect amount of damage. Uh, what is my disable damage anyway? If I move um, the sniper here. How much damage would that do? Two damage. That's actually kind of unfortunate. Okay, let's try capture. If it fails, we'll try again. And if that fails still, um, we'll just have to kill him. Excellent! Chalk up another one. Jeez, Valen, you speak as if it's inanimate. Probably is inanimate, but that's not the point. We got ourselves an outsider. Sweet. I mean, yes, I could have used other two charges to capture a sectoid, but I don't know that. I mean, I could have used a charge on the sectoid and failed both of the outsider. Maybe. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? 
We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized. And yet you call it an object. Very faintly within a specific it's organic. Spectrum. You say yourself. It's currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. Yes. What you're saying is true. This object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. I love Shin's little tag. I will focus on constructing the little tag showing his beautiful bold head. Array, which will I'm sorry. Trace the <laughs> then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. Yes. And you know what's coming? Base assaults is coming. Um, probably. Promotions. Macronova, shredder ammo, because we love extra rockets. Chase, smoke grenade, yes, yes. Now you're gonna have so many smoke grenades, I love it. And then carbine, uh, damage, damaged, one flight computer to replenish the one I gave away to somebody, I can't even remember who. Okay, we have money. How much does it cost to build a Nexus? It costs us $300, okay, let's keep scanning ahead. We have another few days. Oh, okay. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. And it started. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. It has started. Heavy abductions. Okay, it's not quite swarming, but whatever. Lipstick, Germany. That is for Falak on Friday, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next week, same time, for more Trinity War with me. Until then, see ya.